appreciate you taking your time to join us here in San Antonio to learn all about uh, the exciting new Ridge Line. As you heard from James and from Kerry last night, we think this new Ridge Line is a real white space opportunity for Honda. First of all, it's a vehicle that has not been in our lineup for about two years. And it really delivers on a unique set of qualities and features that frankly no other mid-sized competitor can match. The Ridge Line is designed around the day-to-day -day driving and hauling needs of today's truck buyers with none of the conventional compromises uh, to ride, to handling, to maneuverability, or comfort. And with Honda exclusive features like a dual action tailgate and an in-bed trunk, we've got a large group of very passionate Ridge Line owners with 250,000 units in operation, 175,000 of which are actually still in the hands of the original owner. And we think that's really quite extraordinary. Beyond that, there's a whole generation of buyers who have grown up with their expectations shaped by car-based SUVs and CUVs, and for them, traditional body-on-frame truck compromises are less than ideal. On this basis, we think we have a tremendous value proposition and a selling opportunity for this new Ridgeline. Now, in just a few minutes, I'll turn the podium over to our Ohio-based development team to share the details of this new Honda truck. But let me spend just a few minutes updating you on our business. So by now, you, uh, you know we're coming off our second consecutive year of record sales for the Honda brand. And we followed that up with a really strong start in 2016. In fact, we just got the sales numbers this morning, and our sales on a year-to-day basis uh, our, well, excuse me, our sales are up 11% through the first four months, and in the month of April alone, we were up 15%. So, as I said, we're off to a really strong start. And that's overall sales. On a light truck side, we've booked six straight quarters of growth, including an almost 10% gain last year. And that's even as we continue our efforts to improve supplies of key models like Pilot and HRV. Speaking of HRV, uh, coming through April, that was the second best month of HRV sales since we introduced the vehicle. We sold more than 6,900 units. And HRV continues to draw new customers to Honda, with roughly half who are new to market or new to Honda. And CRV, what can I say, it remains our retail selling top SUV in America and it's joined by Odyssey, which is also the top retail minivan. You know, we've also been bucking the trend on the car side of the business. Civic is up 27% year over year, and that's based almost exclusively on sales of the Civic sedan since the coupe was just launched back on March 15th. Likewise, the freshened Accord, freshened last fall, the so the 2016 Accord is up 18% through April of this year. Very strong performance. And that comes in a segment that's actually down about 3% for the year. And also a segment where a lot of our competitors are increasingly relying on fleet sales to post competitive numbers. So together, Civic and Accord are holding their place as America's top retail selling car and compact car for three consecutive years. But perhaps even more promising than that for us is the fact that Civic is number one overall to buyers who are age 35 and younger. And guess what's number two? Accord is the top selling mid-sized car. So we're maintaining our relationship in four of five major product segments, car, SUV and minivan plus compact car, which leaves only pickups, which is really why we're here today. Our strategy continues to be based on products that are sold one car to one customer at a time. Moreover, we're bucking the trend on incentives in the marketplace. Our market spend has been in a steady decline since August of last year. In 2015, when the industry spend was up 5%, we were down 9% in incentive spending. 
And this year so far, the industry is actually up 18% in its incentive spending, while we're down 18%. Moreover, this new ridgeline arrives in the midst of a real renaissance in an almost top-to-bottom remake of the Honda lineup. Last year, Merrill Lynch identified Honda as the big winner in their car war study with a replacement rate of over 30% in 2016 alone. And it started back in the fall of 2014 with a major refresh of the CRV, and it continued last year with HRV, the third generation pilot, a freshened 2016 Accord, and a new Civic sedan. This year, we're continuing our march with Civic Coupe, Ridgeline, the new Civic Hatchback, a freshened 2017 Accord Hybrid, and an Odyssey minivan. And just more than a week ago, we announced our plans to grow sales of electrified vehicles led in part by the 2017 Accord Hybrid and the Clarity Series, beginning with the Clarity Fuel Cell, which also launches a bit later this year, to be followed in 2017 by the Clarity Electric and the Clarity Plug-in Hybrid. And the latter will be a 50-state car with an all-electric driving range in excess of 40 miles. The Accord Hybrid, which launches this spring, will be marketed at the top of the Accord lineup. So it's going to be the most refined, sophisticated, and of course fuel efficient of all the Accords. And it will deliver both top and class performance with peak output of 212 horsepower and top and class EPA ratings uh, with ratings of up to 49 mile per gallon for a highway rating under the EPA's now more stringent rating system for model year 2017. And with improved supplies coming from Japan, we're looking to roughly double sales of the Accord Hybrid from the 14,000 that we actually sold and delivered in 2014. So, bottom line to it, that's a lot of new product in roughly 24 month time frame. And there's still more to come. So what that means is we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. But it's not just about new product. It's about what these products bring to market that distinguishes Honda from the competition. For Honda, it's all about our core brand values, clean, safe, fun, and connected, and amplifying those values in every new uh, vehicle that we bring to market. So the Civic set a high bar last year, coming to the market with sporty styling and performance, amazing packaging, top-class safety and fuel economy, and leading-edge connectivity. And our new Ridgeline follows suit. With the best packaging, best anticipated safety ratings, best fuel economy, fastest acceleration, best-in-class payload, absolutely flat-out best ride and handling, an entirely new feature with the truck bed audio system and the latest connected car tech. It's a big list. This includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and available Honda Sensing, the most comprehensive suite of advanced safety and driver assistive technologies in the mid-size class, and for that matter, for the overall pickup truck market. This Ridgeline has it all and it does it all, and it asks nothing in return. It's not an exercise in compromise. It's a new kind of truck designed for a new generation of truck buyers. And we think people are going to love it. We're excited to share all the details of this Ridgeline with you today, and we look forward to hearing your impressions once you've experienced Ridgeline for yourself. So now... I'm